Hi guys, welcome to another unboxing. Um, this was covered with a plastic bag and uh, for whatever reason, um, the the um, barcode and the address and all that stuff was in the bottom. So when I opened it, this was actually in the bottom, even though it says top, but this was completely covered. So because this was completely covered and it was labeled wrong, this was upside down the whole time. Um, this is an unboxing from, I'll put the link down below, and I'm going to give you guys like um, info on my experience so far with it, and we're going to open this together. <sighs> I'm a little concerned because it's upside down, but I hope everything's great. So, let's see, I'm just going to turn that around because I don't want to get cut because I'm not ambidextrous. Okay, so let's see. Oops, kind of fell off. All right, so it has like stuff on here. Um, I'm not gonna read it right now, but let's start opening it up. And there should be two plants in here. Okay, I'm gonna do the one first right here. Let's see. Take that out. Okay, so the company that I got this from, when I did order, there was an issue, not from the company. When I placed the order, a little story time. When I placed the order, they shipped it really quickly, I think um, two, three days, and they used a two-day shipping, and I was already getting the expected shipping. So if it was supposed to arrive, let's just say on a Thursday, and it didn't really arrive due to weather issues. Um, there was no update. When I tracked it, I had to call. Oh, I got like some free stuff. That's what I'm kind of worried because uh, this was one and there's another one in there. I'm like, uh, I remember there's two. So I, I, I wonder if they split it up. So anyway, so that happened and uh, I reached out to the courier and they explained everything to me wonderfully. I did reach out to the company first and they responded very, very quickly within the hour. So that was really great. So I do recommend the company just for the customer service. So far we haven't opened it yet. So we'll see with that. Oh, these are just unlabeled like stuff. If you want to, um, you want to propagate. I'm not very successful in propagating like, well, this is definitely dead. Propagating, um, Succulents uh, in a leaf level. I think that's a more advanced type of level. Oh, there's already like a root coming um, So I'm gonna set this aside and see maybe I will try it out Because if you guys haven't watched my other plant videos plant vlogs or anything to do with plants um, I'm the type of person that I'm not gonna give up until the the last breath so I'm just not going to but so I'm probably gonna talk myself into it and out of it at the same time and we'll see if I will propagate those babies and If I do I'll just probably I Don't know it'll be unsuccessful for sure because I've already tried to propagate like a few jades jade leaves that fell and They just don't do much. Oh so this is a Peperomia ruby glow um well, so far, it's okay. I just kind of need to clean her up a little bit. She's covered in soil, but that's okay. Nothing is broken, I think. So that's good. That's a good thing. So this is it. Um, I think this was labeled as a four inch. So that would mean that this was growing currently before I purchased in a four inch grower pot. Okay, so that's what she is. This is a Peperomia Ruby Glow. I honestly never thought I would actually be interested in peperomias because um, they just weren't very interesting for me before and for whatever reason the um, peperomia what was the first one that grabbed my eye it's the ruby cascade and I thought well this is a pretty color right it's a pretty color so I'm thinking why not give it a shot so I'll move this over here and I'm going to grab this which 
came with, I don't know what that's called, hanging holder or something. So this is definitely, a, I think this was a six inch pot. Um, here we go. So this is a Peperomia Ruby Cascade. Honestly, I never thought, I've never seen this plant before until maybe a week before. There we go. So just gonna had to rip that up. That was kind of tight, but um, we'll see. I'm gonna gently just rip that because I don't want to risk it by cutting into it, you know? So let's see here. I'm just gonna rip this up. It's nice that the material is rippable. Is that a word? Rippable. Whoa, okay. So I've never seen this in person, in real life. Oh my God. Oh my God. She is gorgeous. Oh my god, I have never seen this plant in person. Oh, I got like a few that fell. That's okay. Um, everywhere that I heard, they're really easy to propagate. I'm gonna try. It's supposedly you can grow them in just leaves. I don't know. Um, so this is technically the peperomia that opened the floodgate for me to want to get peperomias because, um, yeah, this is it. And it took me not very long um, to find one and um, here she is oh my god she is beautiful well I'm gonna clean this up and the next time you'll probably see her is I'm doing a plant vlog on her but because because I am very very new to peperomias all of your advice and care tips and all that stuff would be very, very beneficial for me. So if you've ever had a Ruby Cascade and you've had um, ample experience, like you have the same plant for at least two years and it's thriving, I would appreciate if you can share with me and everyone else in the comment section in regards to uh, the soil type, how you water. When I ask how water, how you water is how often and why would you water it on that day and the amount of water so the volume of water as well that's that's always what how i word it like how do you water some people especially if you're like a new plant, plant parent it would have to be someone experienced already because that's how you would think about it if you are a new plant parent you wouldn't really understand my question and a lot of people i can always tell when someone doesn't really know and i and i try and when they answer me that when i ask that question then I, I, I word everything down um, as much as possible they can understand because there's no point in me continuing the way I would understand on a person that doesn't really have the experience and the knowledge that I do. It will be um, not a good experience for them and for me and a waste of both our time. So um, I always ask that, like the first question I ask that and the direction of light as well because some people don't really know the direction of light and that's very, very important. And you can always tell when someone is new to that. So when that happens, I always suggest try to figure out the directions of your windows and what kind of light you're getting because that's very important. Um, the basics would be soil, water, and light. And I know a lot of people have told me to make one video for what I would give an advice to someone that I'm doing my first day prior to getting my first plant or I just got my first plant, what do I do? Or what do I do if I'm a very, very new plant parent? Like it's my first day or my first month. So I'm thinking about doing that, but I don't know when yet. Um, so anyway, this is how she is. Um, currently, uh-oh. Are there any other loose leaves? Oh, that's okay. It always happens. Even like when you get it at the store, because they still have to be shipped. Um... Even like my local nurseries, they actually order them somewhere else sometimes. Um, um, the nurseries that I've been to, most um, when I ask them, you know, what's going on and all that stuff, they've admitted that they actually 
do order their plants from neighboring nurseries that do not sell retail and do not have the capability of selling retail and they do so that's why there's always something broken which is okay but i have to inspect because if there is anything broken it's still there and it's like half broken what will happen is like this right here what will happen is the plant is always going to try to repair that so it's just easier just clip it right below like a millimeter or two so it will just get pruned or clipped and what will happen is it will encourage more growth instead of trying to repair that part. So, yeah. The reason that I really, really love this is I love, um, I love heart shapes and round shapes. And when you go to pictures, sometimes this is very round and sometimes it looks like not a very giant heart, but like this kind of heart shape. And I love the fact that it's one-sided green and one-sided is a ruby red or ruby pink. I really, really love that. So that was why I was like hunting for this plant. And it did take me a while to do it. Um, just keep looking and looking and looking. And again, I will link everything down below. I don't know if this is still in stock currently when I post my video. But um, this is what I get. I mean, what I got. And as you can see, I'm loving like... The dark pink colors right now I always love pink though and dark pink and anything like a pop-up color when it comes to like plants now um, that's just it I think it helps mentally for me like it just it makes me smile so why not right so um, if there's anything else guys um, oh here's another broken one make sure you check out my description section because I always Try to put in their goodies for you guys and also where you can find this and what I'm going to use when I do transplant them. Um, what I do use when I'm going to water them as well. Anything else will be in the description section. All my social media accounts are in the description section, so do check that out. And if you guys want to chit chat about these two particular plants, advice, tips, anything, your personal experience, you want to share it down below. I, I would love to... I would love to read all that and I, I would also love other people who are curious to have that information because you never know someone else is researching as well and I, I always want to share information that's what my channel is so thank you guys so much and um, I'll see you guys again next time bye